Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and I'm going to do my 100 day project. I've just done my video for, um, what's it called? Oh, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. I'll just move my empty coffee cup over there, out of the way. I'm going to put this in here. I'll probably have to pull it out, but I'm just going to put it in my little bookshelf here. And we are going to do... 100 day project and I'm going to do something quite simple today because I'm just coming off the back of the other little booklet which is still oh where have I put it I tied a bit of sari silk around it. now I don't know where I put it okay so what I'm looking for I should have I wanted to jazz up my digital ephemera I'm thinking what does she mean I don't know what I mean either but you know how it is. We'll just wing it. So I'm just looking for where I put my tags, my printed tags and journal cards. And I think they might be in this big mess here. So let's pull that out. Because I did tidy up yesterday and I'll need the background sort of papers as well. So I'll just put those there. Anything that's sort of writable. So that's in that mix there. So let's pull out this and see. Um... So we could do these. I haven't done much with these, so we'll do those. Okay, we'll just pull out a few possibilities. What do I have here? It's all embellishing stuff. Um, not so much these. I was thinking more the tags and journal cards. Not those. I think I've bundled everything together. You see, they don't really. I really. I need to actually sort through these two piles of things, and they're envelopes I haven't finished making up. Put those there, out of the way, or in the way. Here we go. This is what I want. So those. I might have, you know, used them all. I don't think so. Here we go. There's one. Oh, even postcards will do the job. We'll work with postcards. This is what I want to do. Okay, so we've done, we've done I'm going to do some, that doesn't go there, some reverse collaging on them. I we'll want to do more of those, the Wendy style ones. Um, we've done the reverse style collaging on them, but I'm going to do that first. Even one of these could be good. See, I have plenty. Here I, here I thought I was running out. Okay, these we'll just do these ones. I'm not going to do I say that. That's, that's um, a stretch. We're not going to do all of those. I'll just throw those on the floor as you do. I did pull out these, but let's see. So um, I'm going to do some reverse collaging. Some I might just... I don't need that piece of paper. Some, like, some I could just glue directly onto a piece of paper like this which is the really whizzy way to do it. They're a bit busy. You could certainly write on that, especially with the felt, you know, the ink pen, sort of a felt tip pen. I'll just grab a few papers out just so um, I can get a move on. Um, definitely this type. I could glue on the back. Oh, this one, yes. I was hoping I might have a few coffee dyed, you know, scanned coffee dyed pieces. They're always nice to put in the back. That shouldn't be in there. That should be in my Florentine papers, even though it's a William Morris paper. Um, sorry, guys. All right. Okay, and I think I've got some tea dyed, printed tea dyed, I should say, in this one over here. And then we've also got, yes, this is the one I need to go to. Okay, so the quickest way is, just checking we're in focus, just, type, just say I want to take one of these, 
full sheet and this glue, not that glue, this glue has nearly finished, but we'll see what's left. I can see where my printout is, so I can, I mean, this is like basic, very basic. Um, hmm, way to do it, but you can just glue your piece of paper on the back and you've got your double-sided piece. But that's not the main thing that we're doing in this video. We're going to be doing something, well, maybe a little bit fun. Not that fun. I don't want to give you false hope for fun. But it could be a little bit fun. And, oh, now that one has a direction. So that's the direction. I'll probably stick it on upside down. It'll be just like me. Run your card across it. We'll let that dry and then we'll cut it out afterwards. We'll just do a few. So that's one. We'll put that over there. This one, we will just glue this on the back. But I, might, I don't, well, I guess it's not that. I, it's just a printout. I can print it out again. I didn't want to waste my printout. I keep thinking it's going to finish, but it's not finishing. <laughs> okay. So how is everyone today? Well, I've already asked you that because you'll see my other video first. Well, those of you who do stitching, those of you who don't won't be seeing that video. So that's that one. Let's just grab the card and swoosh it over. Put that one aside. We'll cut that out in a minute. Now this one will do a little bit of a collage collage on the back. And uh, so I'll just put those, they're four pieces of paper, put those on my cutter. And we also need to go to the scrap basket because there might be some plain. I found my bits and pieces of fabric too that I was looking for yesterday when I tidied up. I'll just put that there. Right. We don't want little pieces, we want bigger pieces. Do I have any bigger pieces? I have this left over from the, the little booklet. I have this. So I'm looking for, oh, they shouldn't be in there. Um, I'm looking for plainer pieces. Put a plain piece on there. All of these pieces. Oh, lots of plain pieces there. Um, this bit of straw paper, we can use that. Okay, and down below is more, it's thicker sort of paper. Okay, so let's see how we go here. There's plenty to use. Not that. So it's just going to trim off a little bit. Just so, you know, or otherwise I'll be covering it all and it's just a waste. I mean, they're just scraps. I don't know why I'm being such a fast pot, but anyway. my glue all over it. That glue has now finished. And I have a new one here because I'm organized today. It's a very simple Simon video, this one. But sometimes you just need something simple when you've just come off a more intensive sort of project. So I'm going to glue this right across there, like so, and then start grabbing. I want to mix it up a little bit. Got this little, oh, now I wonder what side, oh, 
I won't use that one. Probably don't have that many scraps in the sense that I've been using them a lot. So this one I'm going to tear. I may need to create new scraps. So in theory, all I need to do is put my glue there because I've glued everything else. It's a bit, a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. I guess we can have this one. Okay, so I just need to put my glue across the bottom. That's why I went along ahead and glued all of the other parts. And what else can we look for? We could have a piece of this. Oh, well, that's got lines on it. Let's see. Oh wait, we've got all of these pieces as well. Let's use some of these. This is just um, wrapping paper. I love this paper. I don't know why. It's so... I mean, isn't that silly? I do just love it. It um, feels very organic to me. I don't know why. Let me just tear that little edge off. I don't know. It's got some kind of fibres in it. Sometimes I find it even hard to tear. So that one, I need to run my glue along my edges and my bottom edge as well. So here, and there, now let's see. I've got some more packaging downstairs that I've kept and I'm going to iron it. And then I want to, I don't know, make things with it. Okay, so that's that. And then we need a little piece. This, I think I didn't quite cover that one. So just maybe one of these little random pieces like this. I don't need to peel the top off. And I like doing this. You know I like doing this. Let me ask you why, if you know me. Because of the element of surprise because then we cut it out and we don't know what's going to happen. So we'll just put that one aside and we'll do another one. This one, we'll do the same thing. We'll do, just going to trim off the excess there. I won't do them all, don't worry. Okay, so this one, I'm going to glue that there. So let's just put glue everywhere on on the, um, what are they called? The tags. And you'll be wondering, what, where is the, where is the jazzing up the, the digital part? Well, that's coming. We've got to prepare them first. They need to be prepared. You need to back them. And then we're going to jazz up the front. You know, personalise them. That's what it really is, is personal. Now, do we want that side? Maybe we'll keep that side with a bit of the scripty doos on there. Like that. I know I've got a bit of a border there, so I can come in a little bit. Okay. And then we need some paper down there. Oh, look at that. That's a nice piece. It's fun when you get excited by your scraps. Stick that there. On here. Oh, that's another nice piece. Didn't know I had all of those. What a shame that corner's not like there. Would fill in that gap. Well, maybe. Maybe it will work anyway. No, you see, it won't work. It would have worked the other way probably. So I could glue that up and take that bit off. I'm going to glue that shooting up there. So I think I'll just. Oh, wait, I've got that bodgy edge there. Okay, now don't worry, I'll be careful not to throw out my mark making there. Right, put 
up there. Sometimes I hold it up so I can see in the light where, where I'm missing bits. That's the same one. You can see how useful all these little bits and pieces are. Wonderful bits and pieces here. Why would you throw them out? I love them. Here we go. We'll use this one. Oh, I love collaging. It's a really good downtime thing to do as well. I know Gail agrees. She loves collaging. And... Um, it's just, I just love it. It's just so much fun. I love that I don't know what's going to happen next. Okay. Oh, that's drying a little bit. I need to put some more glue there. Wow. Well, that was, that, that was already drying, guys. So that was quick. Let's grab this piece. And I'm going to cover that up anyway. So I think I might put this piece. I can see that I've got quite a big gap between them. So, oh, it doesn't matter. Stop being such a fussball. It's, uh, it's only <laughs> scanned, tea dyed, or coffee dyed. And I think I did tea dyeing paper. For heaven's sake, Rachel, get over it. Now, I have been no one to hoard my own digitals, which is ridiculous. And I've heard other people do that too. I mean, honestly, there's something wrong with us. <laughs> we could all go to group therapy together. Wouldn't that be fun? I think I'll put this. Now, hopefully it will cover all of those bits that need to be covered. And now I need to work on this area over here. So, oh, well, we could have, I don't want to cover up that stamp. So I'll put that there and when I cut it, it should be okay. I need a little piece up here and then a little piece. Oh, this piece will be good. This is just old book page. Oh, I better take the glue bit off. It's chunky. Chunky glue. We don't want that. There and just a little bit. I can see that I need a little piece across there and I have this. Oh, this will do. Now, this one here, I think, have I done enough? I think I've probably done enough. We'll put those aside if we want to do more because otherwise you'll just think I'm reverse collaging all day and I'm not. So, let's grab the first one, cut out our bits. And I haven't really worked with these yet, so I'm very excited to work with these. quiet because I'm thinking about what's next so let me just grab these papers and I'll just put those back in and I might even continue on a little bit afterwards and do a bit more because we can't do it all on camera because it takes too long
and I've got some some ideas coming up with the ephemera. You know, I've been I've have the um, big ephemera packs in my shop. They have at least fifty pieces in them. Um, some of the pieces are multiple pages, so it's actually in many cases a bit more. Um, and I still have a few left because uh, I, I haven't shown anyone. So um, I did that on purpose so they, they sort of sell more organically and, and don't sort of race out the door. Um, but I've got some, I already did one with the little um, Leslie cluster that I did. I'm calling them a Leslie cluster where with the brad that held all the little scrappy pieces together. It's just so pretty and it's really, well, the purpose is that they can be um they can be uh, what's the word uh used in collage that's it fun thing to include in a journal or fun thing to put in a, a pen pal sort of thing happy mail um and then i've got some other things that i've i'm just been playing around with. really simple a little bit inspired also again by a lovely leslie i know you get tickled pink and I, honestly, Leslie is just like listening to Steel Magnolias. I know I've said that before, but I just, I remember I just loved that movie when it came out. I can't remember what, it was in the 80s, wasn't it? Yes, Julie Roberts had the big Julie Roberts hair. So I think it was in the 80s. Um, I watched it um, not that long ago and it was so sad. I couldn't believe I loved it so much in the sense because it's just so sad. Um, but anyway... That's those. Oh, and the back. Isn't that pretty? And again, these I might tie together like I did previously. And those are so pretty. With a paper like this, you don't know what you're going to get on the other side. Um, yep, so I do have some ideas with those. So let's cut this one out. Now, I do... See, this bit here, I, I didn't like wasting that. And I love... I mean, I love my blues papers especially. Because blue is my favourite colour. So can I, did I put glue everywhere? I didn't. Oh, look, I can save it. I've saved it. Now I'm happy. Yes. On purpose, I didn't put glue on that area. I think I also want to have a video um, sort of, I've got a lot of journals I have to make um, and I'm in between journals now because I finished the envelope one and, um, and I need to get started on the other ones and so I feel like I need to have a session just sort of, um, can I save that piece? I can. Yes, I can. Um, you know sort of preparing I want to have a box of folded prepared pages what does everybody think about that or hinged I do have a little bit of hinged but I want to do more things so I think we might have a hundred day project doing that um, making journal preparation that's what I'll call it I better write that down because I'll forget and I won't remember what I'm supposed to call it and I never know, like Carol always, like Carol Laws, she she um, can pre-prepare her pages because she makes her covers, but I don't always make my covers because I'm working in um, I'm working in um, altered books mostly, so I kind of need to um, I probably just need to prepare pages of all different sizes, and then I can use them or adapt them. We're nearly there to whatever journal I'm going to work in. But I think it would make my life a lot easier if I had a whole lot prepared of all different types. Botanical, Italian, French Chateau, using all the different kits. But I'd like to, because I have all these, I also have some wonderful um, vintage books. And I would like to, you, like I've got all of these art pages just sitting here waiting for me to do something with them. And I just think I need to sort of sit down and, and prepare them, pre-prepare them. 
because I never do anything matchy matchy anyway do I so it doesn't matter to me if I've got it pre-prepared and whether it's going to go I would just sort of rifle through and audition things which is fun love these tags these were the last Italian kit tags that we did I think I got Steffi to do this or did I decorate and no, I think I might have decorated see there we go we've got our element I love that that's our element of surprise on the back I think I might ask Steffi to design some different tags for us, some basic tags. I think I'm going to ask him to do that so that we've got some basic ones that we can just embellish to our heart's content. Love that. Oh, look at that. That one's going to be really good too. Oh, love it. Okay. And one more thing to cut up. Oh, excuse me. I whacked the light and then I whacked you guys. Bit of a wacky. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> I've got stuff on top of my garbage bin and I'm just chucking all the rubbish on top of the stuff. You, I mean, it would be no wonder that I wouldn't be throwing things out. Actually, this is what I... When I'm peeling potatoes or carrots, totally off, off thing or sweet potatoes... Um, Sometimes I accidentally put the peeler on top, like I peel them onto a plate because I hate, um, or I dislike, hate's not a good word, I dislike um, enormously having to pick up all of the, the peel, you know, the, yeah, the skin that I've peeled. And so I, um, I peel it onto it like a plastic plate, like not a throwaway plastic plate, like a, you know, a picnic plastic plate. plate. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, and, and sometimes by accident, I put my peeler on. And so we had a favorite in that, you know, does everybody else have a favorite peeler? Because we have, a, Steffi and I had a favorite peeler and it's disappeared and we can't find it. And I reckon we've just picked up the plate and, and it's been covered by the peel and it's gone into the rubbish. And so we're very upset about it. So then we had this other one that we didn't like. It had like little teeth in the peeling part. I guess it's so, um, then they have when you peel it, it has grooves and it collects sauce and whatever um now we have to embellish these um and so anyway we had we had resorted to that one well that one's disappeared too so i reckon that one's finished in the rubbish now we've got the really bodgy peeler and i don't know where it is so i'm surprised i don't throw away my by accident my utensils here because i'm always putting them in my garbage bin my little garbage things anyway let's get cracking so how am i going to embellish this well i'm on a i'm loving this stuff my fluoro paints paint pens and fluoro paints you don't have to have fluoro yep i mean this horrible nylon brush but i discovered i was mucking around the other day and i did discover that if you get a fluoro paint pen and you just start going like this. I mean, how cool is that? I love it. I love that. So that's one thing. I mean, this is it. I told you it's the most simple video ever, but I love it. And then, of course, you know, the botanical. And I left the envelopes here because it can happen to them as well. Nothing is safe. From the fluoro pens at the moment i'm on a fluoro it's all my sister's fault if you've got issues with it just talk to her it's her fault it's sarah's fault because she loves fluoro and she and then i saw the fluoro and i'm like well i need to get into the fluoro and i'm going to put a little tracy something there i'm oh i'm having a thought oh dear what if I were to, oh, I have to, that means I, that requires me to pull out the stamps. Do I feel like pulling out the stamps? What if I were to put, to stamp on there and then stamp numbers in it? I wonder what that would look like. I'm going to put that there. And then we can grab, we can put a tab on the top. Oh, I know the other thing I wanted to do. I'm going to grab a piece of my snippet. See, we just cut off it. We just cut it off sparingly and it's for 
playing a bit, so we'll just trim it off. Oh, these are very bad. These scissors do not like to cut. And I'm going to put that on there like that. So I'm going to grab, well, this glue will do it. Glue it on there. I'll just blot that. That's okay. Flip it over. And I'm just going to put a little piece of paper. Oh, I'll just grab this blue paper that I saved that I didn't throw out. See, there's a reason for not throwing out bits and pieces of paper. And I'm just going to, I want to put it that way, I think. So I'll just tear off a bit more. Just secures it a little bit more. And also I've got a bit of glue there so I can cover that up. There we go. And there is my first tag. I've just put a little bit of mark making on it and I love it. So this is what I mean with the digital. So what will we put on this one? I've got gold here. I haven't used the gold very much. It's a very dark gold, doesn't it? It's got a bit on it. They're so pigmented, these um these markers, these paint pens, they are. This one's not a gesso one. This is just a paint mark. It's a bit stinky. Oh, need to open your window. Oh, it's, it's yeah, it's really paint paint. It smells like, you know, wall paint. And um, and then what else could we do on it? Put a few, pink, not pink, blue. I'm going to put a few, few blue paint marks. Very handy thing, this thing, with all the glue on it. Uh, the glue, the paint. Oh, yes, that really just lifts it, doesn't it? Now that one will have to dry. Bit timid I am. So don't go too crazy, just in case. It's like, you know, it's just like going back to your childhood and just doing things for fun. Just clean that off there. I've just cleaned off with the wet one. Why not? I mean, these paints will last forever. I think they cost something like three euro or something like that. They're children's paints. Now, someone asked me the name. I don't know if you can get these. Sarah seemed to think she'd seen something like these in um, in Spotlight. So they're called, um, what's it in Italian? Chalk Marker Prima is the brand. I don't know if you can buy them in other places or whether they just particularly are uh, available in... My, our discount store and the reason it's a Chinese discount all of the discount stores here are owned by the Chinese and the reason why I say that is they probably come from well obviously most things come from China don't they they probably do come from China so I don't know I don't know whether they're sort of like they're importing them or whether there's like a um, what I'm trying to say like a you know like a wholesaler here that's supplying them I don't know that's why I don't know whether you'll be able to, if they'll be available in other places. And I love that. Now, someone, I think it was you, Lucy, who recommended that I cut out the circles and the ovals with my small scissors. No, you told me to do it with the big scissors, and I just did it with the small scissors, but I didn't do a bad job. I was told to do it with the big scissors, and I didn't pay attention. I've done it with the small scissors, because the big scissors will cut a larger you know like a longer area before I have to sort of maneuver it and does that make sense and um, that way it will you cut it out better um, yes I might have a little piece of that one this is the mixed paper and fabric one now I do have white on that side so what I will do is yes I'll glue that on there is cover it with something okay that's gone there oh it's wet I'll do that after I'll cover that up after we'll put that one over there so then we have this one and so we might have had some mark making papers too flying around I'll just recover retrieve them from the garbage here um, and I wouldn't mind a bit of stripes 
um, when I put them that way. Yes. Oh, I like that. So if you're a little bit afraid of um, doing it onto the tag, you could put your marks that you're thinking on the vellum and then, so it's got glue on it, and then stick it on because it's transparent and then you don't make boo-boos because you can audition. Very simple video, as I said. I wasn't joking. Now, do we want blue one? Oh, I like that. This one I might not put even put a tab on it. I think I'll just do that. And then I'll look at it and have another think. And I think I'll just leave that. You don't have to put tabs on everything. Oh, and that's got the beautiful backing, that one. I am a fan of that one. Okay, well, we've done a few of those. Let's go over to these. Now, these are lovely also. You could even write on there, couldn't you? And that's what can write on the back as well. So... We have a little think on this one. Well, I might like this piece on here. I'd probably be inclined to put it up there because then you can put it into a pocket better. So let's do that because I'm pretty sure about that. Okay. And I will put a little piece of paper just on the reverse side, just to secure it. And then of course you can come along and do some stitching like we did in the, in the, um, in the little notebook as well. That could be really fun. Now on this one, what was I thinking? I had a thought and now I've forgotten. Oh, what was my thought? Oh dear. I did have a thought. Hmm. Oh, I know. So do I want this color? Orange. Orange. So you can do your little marks here and there. Oh, I love that. But then, do you know what else you can do? You can come and do your marks up on the fabric. Excuse me. We can mark the fabric. I'm not going all over it because I might put something there. I haven't decided. You probably think it's hideous what she's doing. What in earth is the woman's lost the plot? Lost the plot. Now I feel like I need a little bit of blue. Let me see. I might need a little bit of blue. I do. I need a bit of blue. Can't go wrong with a bit of blue. Now I could stick a little bird on there if I wanted to decorate the front fully. So let's grab the birds. Oh, there's the journal. It was right in front of my face. <laughs> Draw on the fabric. Don't forget to draw on the fabric. I quite like, oh, I like that bird. There we go. I found a home for that bird. That bird's been floating around for a little while, looking for somewhere to go. I just think, you know, doing these little fun bits just take it to another level. It just, even though it's a digital, it makes it yours because you decorated it. Put the bird up there. No, I'm going to put the bird down there, I think. I've got to be careful here. I don't want to smush my paint pen in case it hasn't. Oops. Put a crinkle in his face. Poor little thing. Now, do I want a little Tracy on there? One. 
I don't think it's going to be 1870, 1898 with the fluoro orange, but anyway, somehow I don't think that's the right date, but I still like it. I don't like it there. I like it. No, nope, I need a bigger one. So we don't... Well, there you go. I wasn't meant to put 1898 on there. What's this one? No. Nope. That's not working. Maybe they're not going to work. That one's very big. I don't want a big one. Being a fuss pot... See, they're all too big. Okay, well, I, I think I'll give up on the, I'll give up on the t that the label for the moment and just leave it as it is, and then I can come back and decide another time. Um, I think that'll do. Okay, mm, it needs something there, but I'll just keep on moving. I'll just move on to the next. What's this one? Oh, that's, that's a little one. Okay, that's like that. So, I keep eyeballing this one. I think I might put that on there like that. Is that weird? I think I quite like that. Sometimes I like doing weird things. any of this color I like this color I'm a bit scared but I'm gonna do it I can always throw it in the rubbish oh, I love that color I'm gonna put it everywhere that's enough. Is that just totally weird? I think it is. But anyway, you don't need to answer me. It is what it is. Now, what I'm thinking possibly is these flowers like this. I want something going around the other way. Yeah, possibly. So I could, I think I'm going to put that over them. I think I like that one. Well, that was a quickie, quick, quick, quick decision. Not a quickie, a quick decision I want. I didn't finish my sentence, I'm sorry. Quick decision. Snappy. Maybe I should stick to snappy and I won't make boo-boos. Right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick that there. But do you know what I'm going to do first? Who can guess? What am I going to do first? I'm going to put some, if I can find some, some. Here we go. Oh, 1700s. Do I want that one? I was thinking of a brighter one. No, I want to use that to make... I'm going to make some more little, um, here we go, this is what I want, some more little Leslie clusters. We've got Carol, we've got Carol, um, what do we call them, collage, collage rolls, really, you know, the big ones, when we join all our pages together, I haven't done those for a while, I need to revisit those as well. We've got... Gale faux envelopes, faux front envelopes. They're fun to do. Put that there. It's all about the birds. Oh, I took off some of my paint. There we go. And that one needs to dry. I mean, totally weird, but I like it. 
Okay, so I think I'll end my video here. I think we've made enough. Oh, I need to sort out this one though. This is, I'm not happy with this. This needs, it needs something. It really does. Not happy with it. So sorry, I was going to end the video, but I just wanted to do one more look. Otherwise I'll figure it out and I'll put a photograph at the end if I can't figure it out in a very short amount of time. That's it. I figured it out. To whom it may concern, I figured it out. And I now need to go down stairs and see what time it is and if it's time to put lunch together or can I do something else in between. I've got to upload my other video too. That's urgent. There we go. Found it. Done. So let's recap quickly. So my point of this video is you can, even though you're using a digital, you can do little silly things like me if you want to. Um, that personalize them to your style. So little mark making, simple mark making. If you're scared of mark making, you can. Not this one, I'm trying to find. I love the first one, that one really. And I love this one now too. And I really love this one. This is one of those ones I think that when you sort of go away and come back and look at it and you think, oh, I love that. So I've got that one. That one's got paint. Some have got pen. And then this is this one for if you're a bit nervous. You can do it on, um, what's it called, vellum, and then and then glue it on. So then you don't make a boo boo. But you know, you don't need to worry about it because they they you know you can print them out again. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was a very relaxing video for me. Um, just enjoying. Actually, just one more thing. On this one, I'm sorry, but I just need to come up here with my blue. I've just had a look at it. I just need to put a bit more blue on it, like that. There we go. Just to sort of make it all all one thing. If you have a horrible nylon brush like that, then you can just wipe it with your wet one too. That's a good thing. No water involved. Okay, so there we go. That's my little relaxing in-between video. And then tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do, but... Um, I, as I said, I do have a few ideas with the original ephemera, ephemera, but also you can use digitals if you don't have access to original ephemera. I understand that it's a costly enterprise um, purchasing, so and or and quite difficult to find in your own. Sometimes, like countries like Australia, and I know the US, Australia probably a lot is quite hard to find um, nice original ephemera because it's a younger. Um, civilization shall we say it's not it's an old country but a younger civilization you know where we had all these things so anyway i'm just going on i'm going to go now so thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow bye